Hello and we're back for another interesting test. Today we'll be doing Bitdefender Free Edition up against Windows Defender. Um, so we have Bitdefender on the left. Let's have a look at the settings. Okay, so for the Free Edition, as you guys can see, they also changed the interface that it looks like the normal internet and total security. Uh, we we'll have a look at the protection. So for real-time shields, we only get the uh, um, Bitdefender shield. The rest of the modules are for paid um, customers only. I think while I'm here, let me just disable it so that we can do it. Extract the malware, and then we have the advanced uh, threat defense that we do have with the three version. So that's good to see. Okay, so that has been disabled. Then we get online uh, threat prevention. We're going to leave that enabled. And then obviously the network protection is for the paid version. And I think that's about it. The rest of the modules are um, for the premium customers. So that is defend, uh, that's Bit Defender um, quickly. So we have um, also selected the high um, settings again. So I'm just quickly going through them. Okay, so that's done and dusted. So, for the sandbox that is enabled on Defender, um, I'll show you guys the two services that are running. Okay, so now for those services, if we just scroll down, they are here somewhere. Oh, there they are. So, these two are running because of the sandbox that's enabled. So, you guys can see that they are running and they are there. For Defender, As you guys can see, these are the protection modules, but I'm going to disable them as well while I'm here, just to save a bit of time. But the rest will leave enabled. Controlled folder access is enabled, as you guys can see. Um, it will just uh, turn blue as soon as we enable the protection again. Uh, firewall is active. Reputation based, we're going to leave that enabled and exploit is enabled as well and core isolation is enabled as well okay so now that these two are disabled we saved a bit of time we just gonna quickly extract the malware and then we'll continue the test and we're back guys sorry for the delay um, i saw that the powershell scripts wanted to open up with notepad so i just had to fix that just to make sure that on both machines that the PowerShell scripts will actually open with PowerShell. So I had to change these ones quickly. Okay, so we have 2,982 samples for today. It's quite a lot, um, but I want to see if they can handle this. Um, let's just make sure that all products are up to date. Okay, and I think both products are fully up to date, so I think it's time to enable the protection. Okay, advanced threat protection is enabled. And let's do real time shield. Okay, but Defender seems happy. It's green. Um, Defender, yeah, Defender's green. Also good to go. Okay, so let's just make sure that all our settings here are correct. Let's say submitted as well. Okay, so as you guys can see, Windows Defender is clean. There's no funny business. is clean and there is our sandbox feature same for the better fender machine clean no issues okay so now that the protection is enabled let's get this party started yeah when this defender gave us our first pop-up
Okay, so this test is running, guys. I'll point out if there's anything weird or interesting. But for now, the defender is attending to malware. When this defender is attending to the malware, and then I'll come back to you guys a, a bit later. Okay, and the tests are finally done, so let's see what happened. Um, so let's start with Pit Defender. Um, currently, according to PE, we only have one that might be, so let's look at that rating. Uh, while we wait for that, let's look at startup items. Um, seems like we only have um, maybe one dodgy startup item. Okay, so it seems like it's only these two programs that are rating it as malware, malicious or atrocious, but the other ones have not, so it might be a false positive. Um, yeah, so I think um, it's this program here, so I'm just going to close it. I'm just going to restart, but before I restart, let's just look at Defender. So same program running for Defender. Um, as you guys can see this program installed again as per the last test and obviously that did not install with Bitdefender so Bitdefender did block this um, so it's that um, studio and that's about it let's look at startup items okay so one two three startup items four startup items and maybe this one as well Okay, so I'm going to reboot both of them and then we are going to do full scans and then uh, we'll look at the results and carry on with it. Okay, and we're back guys. Um, I, th I wanted to give these two enough time to scan. Um, just to point a couple of things out. For Bitdefender, um, the full scan, um, the initial full scan that I did seems to been stuck um, early this morning so I stopped the scan I restarted the machine and I started the full scan again um, as you guys can see it's been running almost eight hours and I haven't seen this progress at all and during that time um, for another three hours I've been doing a um, context menu scan where I scanned everything except the user profile and this one was just the malware samples and they just seem to be not going anywhere so it could be that it's just maybe my VM or because this is a new 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 um, free version that it might be still a bit buggy. So we'll just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm gonna stop all these scans. Um, I can't I can't wait any longer anymore. Um, I've given them enough time to to scan and things like that. You guys can see how many hours it's been running and it's just not getting anywhere. Um, hopefully it does stop um, if it does not stop I'm just gonna force restart the machine for um, Defender as you guys can see full scan has been finished so um, I'm gonna restart this machine and then um, wait a couple of minutes reboot bit Defender um, and then I'm gonna start with the third-party opinion scans okay so the test results are finally in so let's have a look at the results Okay, so for Bitdefender, um, we have one in local temp, another one in temp, then we've got these ones in app data roaming. So we've got one, two, three, four um, outside the normal temp folders. Then we've got malware on the desktop in our folder. Then we've got a malware here directly under my user profile. And then one directly under the C drive. 
So we do have a bit of malware. Um, obviously, uh, Bitdefender couldn't finish the full scan, so there might have been a chance that it was able to remove it. So we'll just keep that in mind, but this is the results as it is of now. <coughs> Let's look at Defender. We obviously have the Studio one that installed again, then obviously malware on the desktop. And then obviously the other two studios, so according to um, Windows Defender, there's no malware outside the normal malware folder or temporary folder where but defender does have a bit of malware okay so for Norton Power Eraser we do have obviously app data roaming again and then we've got under local temp and then the one directly under my user profile um, so Norton also found malware outside the normal locations for Windows Defender, it's the studio once again, and then under roaming app data, um, there's a startup item here, it's a, v, it's a VB script, so we've got this one here, so it's in the startup, we'll close that, um, Soft found no malware, which is strange, so Soft says it's clean, um, for malware bytes this is always the interesting one so that's why i always save malware bytes for last um we've got obviously app data again app data and let's just look at this one okay then we've got malware on the desktop and that's about it okay strangely enough malware bytes didn't pick up those other malwares which norton and Heatman Pro picked up, so this is a good example of always using multiple third-party opinion scanners because they not they they don't always pick up the same same malware. So this is just malware on the desktop, and then app data roaming for Defender. And um, we have obviously we have a lot more because of the studio. Um, it's picking up every indi um, individual file for that studio as a um, individual. Um, count so then studio studio malware on the desktop obviously in our malware folder and let's keep going okay and then we seems to have one registry key um, in the uninstall and then we obviously have the studio one again so we have got two registry keys and then just basically malware on the desktop and then the studio so all the detections here have to do with the studio i can't see any other detections from any other malware because even the registry keys um, seems to be um, pointing to that because it says pup studio so all the detections are um, regarding that except the malware in the folder Okay, so that's that. Let's see what's running. Okay, so let's look at the vendor. Okay, so according to Process Explorer, nothing running. Um, for this one, there should be at least one, which is the P or that Studio, DS Studio or something. Okay, cool. Yeah, there it is, DS uh, or D Studio, and there is that. Okay, startup items. We've got one. So these are one startup item for Defender. We've got one, two, three, four, maybe five, six startup items. Let's see which which is this. Yeah, so that that's the VB script that we saw um, in the results. So that's the startup one. Um, I think this might be a broken one because there's no properties to it. So that might be partially broken, and the same for this one. Okay. Let's look at our files.
that our documents are intact pictures are untouched so this is obviously the malware folder that's here that that was complained about So there's the executable. Okay, so I think this is the end for, for this test, guys. It was quite a bit of an interesting test. Um, I think the Bitdefender um, will improve because obviously this is their first free version that looks uniform to all the other versions. So I think it might just be a bit buggy. Um, and obviously they'll bring up product versions. I'm not sure if this version will actually automatically update to new latest product versions but we'll just um, uh, just double check that but I would say cons for Bitdefender is um, it did allow more malware to be on the machine than I would have normally um, suspect Bitdefender to to allow it um, the scans were a bit buggy uh, they got stuck I had to st stop them I had to restart the machine I had to start the scans again they got stuck I had to stop them so there's a bit of a, it might just be my VM. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else is experiencing this problem, but for this test, the, the scans were buggy. So maybe Bitdefender would have removed some of those other malware that were in those other locations if the full scan was able to complete. But that I don't know, that's purely just speculation. So I'm just going according to this test. Um, another con is um, obviously there's malware outside your normal uh, malware test folder and the temporary locations. So we do have a bit of malware um, on other places um, luckily no registry keys according to any of the other um, third-party vendors so the pros I would say at least no ransomware infection um, the new interface does look much nicer it looks like all the other products so that's good to see um, it looks like they're doing more more effort in their free version so and still the real-time shield is is still um, really good with Bitdefender for Windows Defender, I would say the cons are is obviously there are a bit of malware um, outside the normal locations as well, but I would say it was less malware than for Bitdefender. Bitdefender had more results outside the normal locations with all the other scans. Um, it was just maybe malware bytes that found those two registry keys, Northern Power Razor, maybe an app data. Um, but for me, there's less malware outside the normal locations compared to Bitdefender. But it does seem like we might have a bit more startup items. Um, pros again, also really good real-time protection considering we just tested shy of 3,000 samples, which is really, really good. For, even for Bitdefender, it's really good. Um, and no ransom infection, our pictures are untouched. Um, but unfortunately, this uh, D Studio or Download Studio did install again. Um, but yeah, I would say that's the end of this test, guys. It was a real interesting one for me. So I'm, I'm actually quite curious to see how the Bitdefender Free Edition will improve in the near future. We'll obviously test it again. But for these two, I think they, they, they did really, really well considering the sample amount. They obviously have room for improvement, both of them. But I would say Defender has come a long way. It's not as what it used to be about a year or two ago. They're really amping up the, the um, um, protection and signatures. And they are obviously going to give the third party vendors a real run for quote unquote money. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was quite interesting. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, more tests coming soon. Um, we are, I'm already busy planning the next test. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.